1934 saw Indiana's notorious outlaw John Dillinger and his violent gang on a crime spree and on the run. As the manhunt for him continued, unrest was taking hold in Indianapolis. The real silk hosiery mill strike broke out in April and made news into May. It's considered one of the most violent in Indianapolis history, complete with street fights and a bombing of an employee's home. There was good news to be had in May, thanks to an Indianapolis native still looking for his first win at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Wild Bill Cummings had suffered disappointment after disappointment at the Indianapolis 500. The popular Hoosier driver started second in 1931 and ran just 70 laps. He started from the pole in 1933 and again didn't finish. In 1934, we saw a new set of rules at the Speedway. For the first time, a maximum fuel consumption limit was imposed, 45 gallons max. That meant strategy and fuel management were critical. In the end, only 12 cars finished the race, with Cummings finally taking the checkered flag, winning by 27 seconds. At the time, it was the closest finish in the history of the 500. On the road to 100, Michael Grady, RTV Six Sports.